Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today I wanna to talk about an update Google just pushed for shopping lists on the Google Home and Google Assistant. Today I'm gonna to show you all the changes and what you need to know. Let's get started. Previously, if you added an item to your shopping list with the Google Home or Google Assistant on your Android device, it would add it into the Google Home shopping list area or into the Google Keep application. When you go in here, you would see Google Assistant shopping list or Google Home shopping list. Google has now copied your list to the new Google shopping list through Google Express. So if we go into the Google Home application, we click the menu drawer right here in the top left hand corner and we go to shopping list. This will go to the web and show you your new Google shopping list. Here it copied over those items. It also automatically copied who I had uh, my list shared with. So here my wife is on there. So now I can add lists right here. I can now still use the Google Home to add to this shopping list. Add troll toys to the shopping list. Okay, I've added troll toys to your shopping list. So then if I refresh this, we'll see that those have been added. You can also go and download the Google Express application and sign into your Gmail account and now you will have shopping list here as well. So there you can see my different items. Some of the updates with this is when you want to delete an item or check an item off, you can just swipe right and that will check off the item. Here it has been added to checked off items. I can swipe it again and it will add it back up to the top here. Um, say I, I created duplicate items, I can also swipe to delete those. The cool part is about this is it will actually help you shop for items on your shopping list. So here you can see that it has these Google Express icons on the right side of the screen. So now I can actually click the shop list and it will pull up the items that I have and search for them. So here I can see Troll Toys, it got that, Protein Bars, it will even say you know if there's a discount or not right here so I don't have to go to the store, I can just buy right from my phone. So now if I want to add an item to the shopping list with my phone, I can do that as well. Add Sing to the shopping list. Okay, I've added Sing to your shopping list. So close. So if I want to edit it, I can just come in here and check it off there. To share this new list with somebody, you need to go back into the website or into the Google Home app and click shopping list. When you're on this page, you then get the option up here in the top right to click add a person. When you click there, it pulls up options of people you may want to share the list with, or you can type in an email address. Once you've entered the email, click save, and it will then send an email to them inviting them to the shared list. So once I have shared to the other email, they will receive an email that says, Brett Bristow has shared a shopping list with you. You click view list. It will then take them to the list and you can see it right here. So if they wanna to add to the shopping list with their Google Assistant, they need to go to the settings and click manage their list. Here is this email's primary shopping list, but we wanna add it to this shared shopping list. So I'm gonna click on the menu and then I'm gonna click make primary. So now that anything that is added on this shopping list is going to add it to the shared shopping list on the other device and from the Google Home. So now if I go into Google Assistant Add Iron Man to the shopping list. Okay, I've added Iron Man to your shopping list. You can see it has now added that item to this same list so that there's one single list between all of these devices. And here on this account, I can also click shop your list. It will pull up the information about what is in my shopping list per item. And if there's items it cannot find, it will put them here at the bottom saying I 
you know, cannot be found. Then if we go over here and refresh, we will see that all those items on that device as well. You can also activate Google Home to check everything that is on your list. What's on my shopping list? You have seven items on your shopping list. Iron Man, Sing, Troll Toys, Protein Bars, Skinny Cows, Easter Candy, and Green Apples. In the settings of google.com forward slash express, you do have options to add different lists, but right now you can only add items from the Google Home and Google Assistant to the main shopping list. So keep that in mind if you're creating multiple lists. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about the new changes on the shopping list with the Google Home and the Google Assistant. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you know anybody that has a Google Home, please share this video so they're updated about the changes and that they can use this new feature to its fullest. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button so that you can continue to receive tech tips, tricks, and tutorials whenever you jump onto YouTube. And for more things that you can do with the Google Home and my latest video, check out the videos over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.